10 Uncommon Hobbies You Should Try in 2023 Prepare to expand your interests with our list of 10 distinctive hobbies that will bring a delightful change to your year. These activities range from exciting to unconventional and guarantee to stimulate your senses, spark your imagination, and create unforgettable memories. So, buckle up and get ready to embark on an enthralling journey as we reveal the hidden world of unique hobbies that are waiting to be explored in 2023. Number 10. Geocaching and Letterboxing. If you've always had a fascination with discovering buried treasure, then geocaching might be the perfect hobby for you. Geocaching is an outdoor game that involves using GPS-enabled devices to locate hidden containers, known as geocaches. However, the catch is that you must leave a treasure behind when you find one. It doesn't have to be anything valuable, just a small trinket or coin will do. There is a vast online community of geocachers who share their experiences and provide hints for finding hidden boxes at different locations. If you're looking for a hobby with more clues, you might want to consider letterboxing. Letterboxing is similar to geocaching, but instead of finding containers, you search for hidden boxes containing a unique rubber stamp and logbook, using clues and maps. Number 9. Soap Carving. Soap carving is an art form that involves sculpting soap bars into intricate designs and figures, which can be both therapeutic and artistic. With just a few simple tools, such as a carving knife, pencil, and sandpaper, it's an affordable hobby that's easy to start. Soap carving is a relaxing and meditative activity that allows you to unwind and express your creativity. It's also an excellent way to improve hand-eye coordination, dexterity, and patience. Carving intricate designs out of a soft, malleable soap requires precision and attention to detail, and your finished sculptures can be used as decor, gifts, or even functional soap bars. If you're not interested in using soap, you could try gourd carving instead. Gourd art involves decorating and carving hard shell gourds to create unique pieces of art, ranging from functional objects to sculptures. Number 8. Amateur Radio. Amateur radio, also known as ham radio, is a hobby that involves communication using radio frequencies. It's a worldwide community of enthusiasts who use designated radio bands to exchange messages, engage in conversations, and even provide assistance during emergencies. Pioneers such as Hiram Percy Maxim and Marconi played a significant role in the development of amateur radio. Throughout the years, amateur radio has grown into a global phenomenon, bringing people together across borders and cultures through the power of radio waves. Amateur radio also plays a crucial role in public service. During a crisis, when conventional communication systems fail, ham radio operators become community heroes. They provide essential communication links during natural disasters, participate in search and rescue missions, and even assist in relaying messages for astronauts aboard the International Space Station. Although there is a learning curve involved, particularly regarding radio regulations and operating procedures, this is not necessarily a disadvantage. Aspiring ham radio operators can receive support from numerous online communities and local radio clubs. From studying for licensing exams to honing practical skills through hands-on experience, the journey to becoming an amateur radio operator can be an exciting and fulfilling one. Number 7. Lock Picking. If you've ever fantasized about being a secret agent, then lockpicking might be the perfect hobby for you. Lockpicking, also known as lock sport, is a recreational activity that involves studying locks, lockpicking, and the broader field of physical security. It offers a unique challenge that requires skill and knowledge to master. To become proficient, you must understand the intricacies of locks and their mechanisms and learn how to manipulate them with specialized tools. Lockpicking requires patience, dexterity, and problem-solving skills, making it a mentally stimulating activity. It's also a great hobby for those who need something portable, as lockpick sets are small and easy to carry, allowing you to practice almost anywhere. Lockpicking can also provide a sense of empowerment and independence, and there's even a market for competitions among enthusiasts. Number 6. Yarn Bombing. Yarn bombing is a form of street art that can add a touch of whimsy to ordinary city streets. It involves using knitting needles as paintbrushes and yarn as the medium to create vibrant coats for trees, cozy sweaters for lampposts, and delightful crocheted creations for park benches. Yarn bombing, also known as yarn graffiti or guerrilla knitting, emerged in the early 2000s as a way to rebel against the dullness of urban landscapes and inject a playful spirit into everyday life. 
Anyone can participate in this hobby, regardless of their formal art education or training. The possibilities for creativity are endless, from embellishing a bike rack to knitting a cozy sweater for a fire hydrant. The knitting community is very welcoming and enthusiastic, so anyone can join in on the fun. To get started with yarn bombing, it's important to first become familiar with knitting or crocheting techniques. Starting with small projects, such as covering a pole, can help you gain confidence and experience. Yarn bombing is a hobby that encourages experimentation and improvisation, and even mistakes can add character to your creations. However, it's important to always get permission before starting a project, as not all public spaces allow yarn bombing. Number 5. Bonsai Cultivation While you may not have thought of growing trees as an exciting hobby, bonsai cultivation is sure to change your mind. Bonsai trees are small and perfectly proportioned, especially when their branches are contoured and roots delicately pruned. This meticulous practice originated in ancient China and was refined over centuries in Japan. Bonsai involves growing and nurturing trees in miniature form, creating living landscapes within confined spaces. The word, bonsai, translates to, tray planting, reflecting the essence of this art. With bonsai cultivation, you can cradle nature in the palm of your hand. Bonsai cultivation is a hobby that many enthusiasts find to be a gateway to serenity, offering a peaceful escape from the hustle and bustle of everyday life. Through the careful selection of tree species, pruning techniques, and the arrangement of rocks or moss, you may experience a profound connection with nature. Mastery of bonsai cultivation requires a grasp of horticultural knowledge, including understanding soil composition, pruning techniques, and the unique needs of various tree species. However, there is plenty of information available online to help you dive deep into this hobby. Bonsai cultivation is not just about tending to a plant. It's a relationship that demands care, observation, and respect. Number 4. Zentangle. Imagine a world where lines intertwine, forming intricate patterns that transport you to a state of tranquility and mindfulness. Zentangle is a mesmerizing hobby that combines meditation, creativity, and simplicity. This art form involves drawing structured patterns, known as, tangles, within defined spaces. Zentangle originated in the early 2000s when artists and educators Rick Roberts and Maria Thomas discovered the therapeutic power of deliberate, focused drawing. They developed a method that allowed anyone, regardless of artistic ability, to find solace and creative expression through deliberate strokes of a pen. Zentangle is a unique art form that encourages exploration within boundaries by working within defined spaces and using a limited set of patterns. It provides a playground of creativity to explore countless variations of patterns, shading, and textures. One of its core principles is that there are no mistakes, only opportunities for unexpected beauty. This hobby is incredibly easy to learn, thanks to the simplicity of its approach and the step-by-step -step guidance provided by certified Zentangle teachers. It's an ideal art form for beginners who want to explore their creativity. Number 3. Quilling. Quilling is a mesmerizing hobby that involves a delicate dance of paper strips, gracefully twirling and swirling into intricate designs. This art form weaves together patience, precision, and boundless creativity. Also known as paper filigree, quilling originated in ancient Egypt and later flourished during the Renaissance. Today, it offers a therapeutic escape, providing a chance to feel immersed in the rhythmic and meditative process of rolling, shaping, and gluing paper strips. With each delicate coil, tension melts away, replaced by a profound sense of calm and focus. Quilling becomes a mindful practice, a sanctuary where creativity and inner peace intertwine. The versatility of quilled paper allows for endless possibilities, from intricate floral arrangements and whimsical animal figures to personalized greeting cards and decorative wall art. With patience and imagination, paper strips can transform into three-dimensional masterpieces that showcase the artist's ingenuity and attention to detail. Quilling is an accessible hobby that welcomes newcomers with open arms, and there are abundant tutorials, books, and online communities dedicated to the craft. If you're interested in quilling, start by mastering the basic techniques, such as creating coils, scrolls, and shapes. As your confidence grows, you can combine different elements to create your own signature style. Number 2. Urban Exploration. If you're ready to step off the well-trodden path and venture into abandoned halls, 
urban exploration may be the exhilarating hobby for you. A2 hobby, taxi izvest no kak urbex, priklasat bas raskrit sekradi zabite mest i najti spratni sakravisa vi betani zungla, kotori na zokrazo. Urbex involves exploring man-made structures, usually abandoned or off-limits, to document their history, architecture, or aesthetics. From factories and forgotten hospitals to derelict amusement parks and decaying mansions, these spaces hold stories waiting to be unraveled. Over time, Urbex has evolved into a passionate subculture driven by the desire to connect with forgotten histories, preserve architectural heritage, and capture the haunting beauty of decay. For some, urban exploration is driven by an insatiable curiosity, a longing to uncover the untold stories that lie within neglected walls. It's a chance to walk in the footsteps of those who came before, to immerse yourself in the atmosphere of bygone eras, and witness the power of nature reclaiming what was once built by human hands. While you may need to hit the gym to prepare for this adventure, anyone with a passion for discovering can try urban exploration. You can start at your own pace, looking for accessible locations and gradually venturing into more challenging environments. However, it's important to prioritize safety, respect property rights, and follow local laws while you're adventuring. Number 1. Kintsugi. Imagine a broken ceramic vase, shattered into a thousand fragments, its beauty seemingly lost forever. Now picture those fragments being pieced back together, with shimmering veins of gold illuminating the cracks. This ancient Japanese art form, known as Kintsugi, breathes new life into the broken, transforming it into a masterpiece. Kintsugi originated in the 15th century as a response to the fragility of pottery. It was born out of a philosophy that values imperfections and cherishes history. Rather than concealing the cracks, Kintsugi embraces them, turning them into a part of the artwork's narrative. Taking up Kintsugi as a hobby isn't just repairing pottery, it's elevating it to a new level of beauty. As you delicately mend the broken pieces using a special lacquer mixed with powdered gold, silver, or platinum, you become a healer of objects, breathing life back into them and honoring their past. In a world obsessed with perfection, Kintsugi celebrates the beauty in flaws, teaching us to embrace our own imperfections with grace and resilience. The techniques can be intricate, and the process demands a steady hand, attention to detail, and an understanding of the delicate balance between the broken and the mended. However, with patience and guidance, the art of Kintsugi can be mastered by anyone passionate about embarking on this transformative journey. Thanks for watching.